Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Dragon Ball Super episode 131. So, this is the final episode for Dragon Ball Super. Um, I actually expected the tournament to end last episode, but it did not. <laughs> so I guess this is going up until the very last minutes. Um, so anyway, last episode we saw the battle between Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku versus Jiren at full power, actually going beyond his full power. Um, after Goku was pretty much, you know, having a one-sided fight with him, uh, Jiren started remembering his uh, past and how it felt to lose and have people he knew or know die and that caused him to get enraged and he got even stronger than he was um, and was able to actually fight with Goku pretty evenly in fact he was actually a little a little stronger because he was actually winning for a little bit um, Once Goku got basically a pep talk <laughs> from Krillin on the sidelines, um, he was able to get up again and fight, uh, actually using even more power, because they did mention that Goku was faster than he was before. Um, he was able to well, he was fighting with Jiren pretty evenly at this point. Um, and then... Goku started getting the upper hand. And actually hit Jiren up against, like, a wall. Which eliminated the aura that was around Jiren. Um, and Goku, well was basically telling Jiren that you know it's because of his friends and everything that he is able to fight you know as well as he does um, and it's them who gives him the strength because he's got 17 and Vegeta's dreams and everybody else's hopes basically resting on his shoulders um, so he's he can't let them down, basically. And Jiren, he doesn't believe in any of that. Uh, to him, strength is the only answer for everything. Strength, as he puts it, is absolute. Um, <laughs> and in order to prove this, he fired a blast towards the stands, towards Universe 7, all of Universe 7. I'm pretty sure it would have hurt a lot more than just them, but yeah, he fired a blast at them. Goku was able to knock it out of the way, and then <laughs> this is basically where Jiren made his big mistake, because he attacked all of Goku's friends. Um, really, really made him angry. And then he... It was basically another one-sided fight between Goku and Jiren. Who knocked him down onto a platform using the Kamehameha. And Jiren is basically out of the fight right now. He's, um... He's not knocked out, but he can't... Apparently, can't continue. Because he's asking Goku, why aren't you... You know, why are you hesitating to finish me off? Uh, the fight is over, just throw me over the edge and Beerus is even telling Goku to hurry up and finish it um, so when Goku finally goes over to him now to me it looked like he was going to give Jiren some energy but I am not sure because as soon as he was getting ready to throw whatever he had in his hand towards Jiren 
is when the toll on his body from using Ultra Instinct, Master Ultra Instinct, took over and basically wrecked him. Uh, he went back to his black hair. There were like purple, like lightning going all around him. He was, there was nothing else he could do. Um, so Belmont is yelling at Jiren to knock him off the edge. Um, he'll get the super dragon balls. And Jiren, he really, you could tell, he does not want the fight to end this way. Goku had basically won. And now he's basically getting a free win because Goku's body couldn't handle Ultra Instinct. Um, and he tells Goku that as well, that he didn't want their battle to end that way. Um, so he blasts the platform they're on and Goku starts falling down into the uh, abyss. And that is when Frieza finally decides to make his return and hits Goku with some, I don't know, I don't know if it was a blast, but it was some kind of pressure that knocked him back up into the air and onto a platform, saving him from elimination. And then we see that Android 17 is still alive. Apparently it was a gamble on whether he would die or not using the self-destruct. Um, and he lucked out. <laughs> His words. Um, kind of the same situation with uh, Vegeta when he did his self-destruct move. Um, and now Frieza and Android 17 are getting ready to fight with Jiren because Goku is out of commission right now. I don't know how much more power Jiren has. Um, if it's going to be so low that Frieza and 17 are going to be able to fight with him. Or if he's still going to overpower them by a lot. So, let's just get into this episode so we can see what happens. See how the series is going to end. Alright, so video is going to be located over here. And the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in three, two, one.